Chapter 36 Bezalel and Holiab, and every craftsman in whom the Lord has put skill and intelligence to know how to do any work in the construction of the sanctuary, shall work in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. And Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab and every craftsman in whose mind the Lord had put skill, everyone whose heart stirred him up to come to do the work. And they received from Moses all the contribution that the people of Israel had brought for doing the work on the sanctuary. They still kept bringing him free will offerings every morning, so that all the craftsmen who were doing every sort of task on the sanctuary came, each from the task that he was doing, and said to Moses, The people bring much more than enough for doing the work that the Lord has commanded us to do. So Moses gave command, and word was proclaimed throughout the camp, Let no man or woman do anything more for the contribution for the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing, for the material they had was sufficient to do all the work and more. And all the craftsmen among the workmen made the tabernacle with ten curtains. They were made of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet yarns, with cherubim skillfully worked. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain of the first set. Likewise he made them on the edge of the outermost curtain of the second set. He made fifty loops on the one curtain, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was in the second set. The loops were opposite one another. And he made fifty clasps of gold and coupled the curtains one to the other with clasps, so that the tabernacle was a single whole. He also made curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops on the edge of the outermost curtain of the one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the other connecting curtain. And he made fifty clasps of bronze to couple the tent together, that it might be a single whole. And he made for the tent a covering of tanned ram skins and goat skins. Then he made the upright frames for the tabernacle of acacia wood. Ten cubits was the length of a frame, and a cubit and a half the breadth of each frame. Each frame had two tenons for fitting together. He did this for all the frames of the tabernacle. The frames for the tabernacle he made thus. Twenty frames for the south side. And he made forty bases of silver under the twenty frames, two bases under one frame for its two tenons, and two bases under the next frame for its two tenons. For the second side of the tabernacle on the north side, he made twenty frames and their forty bases of silver, two bases under one frame, and two bases under the next frame. For the rear of the tabernacle westward he made six frames. He made two frames for corners of the tabernacle in the rear, and they were separate beneath but joined at the top at the first ring. He made two of them this way for the two corners. There were eight frames with their bases of silver, sixteen bases, under every frame two bases. He made bars of acacia wood, five for the frames of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the frames of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the frames of the tabernacle at the rear westward. And he made the middle bar to run from end to end halfway up the frames. And he overlaid the frames with gold, and made the rings of gold for holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. He made the veil of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen, with cherubim skillfully worked into it he made it. And for it he made four pillars of acacia and overlaid them with gold. Their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four bases of silver. He also made a screen for the entrance of the tent, of blue and purple and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen, embroidered with needlework, and its five pillars with their hooks. He overlaid their capitals, and their fillets were of gold, but their five bases were of bronze. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again for the second time he went away and prayed, My father, 
If this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So, leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Welcome to Bible Time. Today, Exodus chapter 36, Moses called Bezael and Oholiab and every skilled person to build a tabernacle. And the people were bringing so much more, more than enough for the construction, that even people were restrained from bringing any more. Now what I want you to understand is that people were bringing everything for the construction on their own, by their own free will. They were not forced to bring things. They brought it on their own desire, and they were willingly giving all the material, and they had more than enough. The skilled people began to work from their heart and that they began to build a frame and the curtains in fine linen in all different colors of red and purple and blue. And so what I want you to understand there is that people working, not they were forced to do it, they were still in their heart. And they came to work in their own willingness. In Egypt, they were worked by forced labor. Even if they don't want to do it, they had to do it and they just were pushed to do it. But here, the Lord's work, God's work is done on their own volition, meaning that their own free desire. They didn't have to do it if they didn't want to. And they were giving, they didn't have to give if they didn't want to. They were doing it out of their own heart. And that's what God loves. As 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. God loves it when we are willing to give. God loves it when we are willing to work. And that's what the Lord work is all about. Now in Matthew chapter 26, verse 31 through 46, what we find is that Jesus told his disciple how they're going to fall away. In other words, they're all going to abandon Jesus in a moment of time. Peter said, even if all the other disciples will disown you, I will never disown you and Jesus said you will disown me three times even before the night ends the, before the rooster crows and Peter insists no I'm not and they, all the other disciples said we're not going to you see it was not registered in their mind what was to happen they didn't know what was going to happen to Jesus so now reaching the Gethsemane, Jesus told his disciples to stay and pray and taking with him Peter, John, and James a little further. And then he asked them to watch, wait here and watch and pray. And Jesus went to a little more distance and then began to pray on his own. And whenever he came back, disciples were sleeping. And this happened three times. Three times Jesus find them sleeping. When Jesus told them to pray in order that they would not fall into temptation, they're, they're weak in their flesh, even though their spirit was willing. The content of Jesus' prayer is that, Lord, if you are willing, take this cup away from me, but not as I will, but your will be done. What Jesus was saying was that if it's possible, Lord, let me not suffer, but not as my will, but your will be done. It was God's will that Jesus will be punished. It is God's will. Jesus will go through this suffering. And why? Because that was the only way that we could come to the Father. It is through that sacrificial uh, sacrifice Jesus has made on that cross that we are able to come to, to the Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may we realize in coming few days we will have a time of Good Friday. Lord, help us to remember that it was your will to have your son be punished for our own benefit. Lord, thank you for that work. In Jesus' name, amen.